Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and um, <laughs> it's been a week. Uh, <laughs> after getting off stream, I went to return to my base with all those things from the nether, and um, yeah, I died. My items disappeared long before I could get to them. I, I, I have no idea where they went or what happened. So I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to regroup on the uh, on the gear side of things, and then it's probably gonna be a resource gathering session. Uh, I think I'm definitely gonna stick with this style floor, but I also know that I'm gonna want to drop this down a little bit and get some blackstone to throw in here as well, because I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of blackstone. I got about 10. I, I got some deep slate that I can work with, but the deep slate's going to be a block for the wainscoting. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for the wall yet. One, uh, one step at a time. I need... Because that's polished basalt. and <laughs> No, sorry, that's polished basalt. That's smooth basalt. I've got tuft from yesterday from yesterday, from Tuesday's live stream. And I need some shroom lights or glowstone. Not sure which, but it's going to have to be one or the other. Uh, let's uh, dip heavily into the iron supplies here. I'm going to keep the leather boots. I'm going to keep the golden cap. Uh, so Because, you know, I'm getting ready to go into the nether. And so that means I need an iron chest plate a few more ingots and some iron pants all right i need to dip into my dwindling lumber supplies i've got one iron oh uh do i have another i do have another bow I've also got a nearly depleted crossbow. All right. Oh, <laughs> and I only have two arrows because all the others are gone. Because of course they are. All right. And that one's got one in the hole. There that is. Oh, and I need food. I don't like a lot of the options that I have. So let, let's go run around the perimeter and collect the sweet berries. But first... Uh, I got a sword. I'm going to want a second one for backup. Going to dip into the iron a little heavier. And I'm going to grab one axe. No, two. Because I need to go hunting for the... Um, for the nether, nether wart. If I'm going to get the shroom lights. Ooh, that means I probably ought to bring some bone meal with me too. Uh, I'm going to need two picks. And I'm going to do a shovel. Because I do want some soul sand and soul soil as well while I'm out there. Uh, and then I'm going to have to do something about that storage everything. Honestly, because uh, of what I want to do with this, and since I need to drop that down a few blocks... I might, I'm going to have to pack all that up eventually and find a new home for it. Don't know where, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get there eventually. Um, I really wanted to go through and do a little bit of enchanting ahead of time, but, well, I got a whole two levels, so that ain't going to happen. Let's, uh... Get some cheap food. I got the one fox. I, I need to I need to figure out the dimensions for a sweetberry farm and set it up so that way we get maybe like a um, a couple double chests of sweet berries. And then um, and then the rest starts going into bone meal. Oh, bone meal. You know, like that stuff that I meant to take with me on this trip to the nether. <sighs> yep. Uh, <laughs> that's the way I've been. How are you? <laughs> oh, a shield. Why? 
Yes, I, I would like a shield and maybe a second one because that <laughs> that that was uh, that was that was that was part of the problem. I faced a skelly with a flaming bow, and uh, he broke my shield. Oh, oh God! Yep. He broke my shield, and then he broke me, and there was much crying and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Is pretty much how that went. Alright, so we got one there, we got one in the hole. I got some bone meal. Uh, I'm not going to worry about torches, even though I lost a whole bunch of them. Let's, uh, I almost want to build another portal in, in my base, so I'm not traversing the the mountains dangerously on my way to and fro uh, hello beach duck how are you doing I almost want to wait until nighttime so I can get one more one more sleep in because I also don't want to be running around out <laughs> out near the portal in the dead of night which is how all this unfortunateness started anyway so Ah, uh, well. Uh, for those of you who saw last Friday's stream where I finished up the guitar, that is off and chipped and should be arriving at its destination Monday or Tuesday. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Well, the sweet berries don't fill you up much, but... Uh, Oh, all right. Maybe it's because I've been reading D and D novels, but it just occurred to me: you should totally be able to throw sweet berries on an enchanting table, and uh, and make some good berries, like Minecraft good berries. That yeah, you know, sweet berries that that give you regen or extra health or something like that. <laughs> no, it, is it because I've been reading uh, too many D and D novels? I was hoping Arcadius would at least reply on that one. No, I have no good reason why I did that, but... Oh, okay. Oh, I hate this part where I'm waiting for nighttime. Although if I can load up one more, uh, although the cobble's almost done. So we should be cooking up the stone for some smooth stone soon. Um, oh, wait a second. I know what I should be doing. Let me uh, power those real quick. There is no coffee, uh, but I will gladly take some warm tea. Like I said, I've been... Eh. Oh, all right. Well, that got me a fair amount of the way. That got me 11 levels right there. Uh, I was hoping to take this over to the Enchanter to get fortune put on it. Uh, I'm sorely tempted to take the diamond pick, but... Uh, mm. Oh, I should probably take a, a set of shears with me. Wait, is it shears or a hoe? One of those two is the one that... Yeah, speech duck. We, we all need some coffee, some caffeine. But uh, I, I, I left work early feeling a little rough. And uh, I, I'm thinking uh, some hot tea would be better. Do I have... I thought I had a flint and steel somewhere. All I got is the fire charge. As soon as I figure out where my portal's going, those 12 obsidian, uh, that's... Uh, that'll be... Oh, it's nighttime. Duh. <laughs> Crikey. 
as soon as I figure out where my portal is going to be, I'll use the fire charge to light that because I really am going to save the. F oh wait, no, we got a, we got a, we got a dude. We got a home skillet. Um. We got a we got a guy that sells arrows somewhere. Somewhere over the mountains. Over the hills and through the woods. But it's not to grandmother's house that we go. Uh I, I would much rather have the fast arrows. Alright. Who who melted the water on the side of the mountain? I was going to say I'm surprised it didn't freeze over, but then I realized that it's because it doesn't have sky access. That'll freeze over in a little bit. Still gonna get a nice tray, but I gotta get Silk Touch first. I've got a box with Silk Touch on it, so don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Hello, beef. It's what's for dinner. No, ow, ow! Not if I keep making jumps like that. A box? A box what? I just hurry up and finish getting ready. You know, I just... <laughs> oh, a book. Sorry. A book. I have a book with Silk Touch on it. I just... I, I haven't gotten around to putting any... putting it on any... any picks yet. I, I, I guess I should be a little more careful where I'm running and jumping. I mean, if I'm going to mock Scar and Green for trying to do 100 hours of hardcore survival and uh, knowing full well that uh, one of them is sure to die soon. It's kind of wrong that raw beef gives you better filling than, than a sweet berry. <laughs> uh I should probably watch where I'm looking a little bit, a little bit more closely. Don't worry, Mutton. You're next. I wonder if I can get that closer to gold than orange. Because I think it's if you dye leather, it combines the colors a little bit more. He's <laughs> uh, supposed to be able to wash them in a cauldron of water. Is it the last three? I couldn't remember if it was just the next one adjusts what was already there through a mathematical formula. Like, I thought it kept going regardless, just uh, it was whatever whatever the original die was. Oh, no, that's the bee sanctuary. Uh, oh, hmm. All right, I might come back for some more bone meal later. Do we have any sweet berries planted over here? Although I don't know if we're if we're gonna turn villagers loose, I don't I don't think you want to turn villagers loose with uh, sweet berry bushes around. They they will they will actually uh, do themselves in by accident. On sweet berries. Let me not fall to death over over the gorge there. Um, <laughs> that that wide gaping hole is not villager safe either. What do 
do I hear? Ow! Oh. Okay. It's the horses on that side. Hi, guys. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Might turn them into a proper, uh, proper farm here soon, too. Alright. Archer, archer, archer. I am looking for archer. We got a cleric in there, don't we? Or no. No, somebody had taken over that. There we go. That's all I need for now. I probably shouldn't go running around with not more than a P. I, I don't need them all. Besides, I might be acquiring some along the way. And that project I'll get to soon too. the portal. Yeah, because we're a lot of the stuff that I want to do requires bone meal. Lots and lots of bone meal. And I'd much rather get the free arrows than uh, paying for arrows. Because I'm cheap. So I kind of like the idea of mugging all the skeletons for <laughs> for their arrows. <laughs> ah! Nope. 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 Ah, cricky. <laughs> Where is the portal? Am I lost? I'm lost. Maybe not. I mean, while I'm here, might as well grab the coal, right? I, I am mourning the loss of my fortune pick. Maybe, uh, maybe the XP will get me up to snuff. I forget just how dark it is on your side, too. Uh, let me get out of the dark. Ow. This is gonna end very badly, isn't it? Oh, oh. Because that should be the mountain that's home. Which means I just need to angle a little bit more that way. And get there soon. <laughs> uh, sooner than the mobs start spawning. We might want to thin out this forest a little bit, too. Hmm. That sure is a deep, dark hole. Where's the portal? That is lost. Uh-oh. I hear company. <gasps> oh, it. The mirror has the world gotten just like a smidge more difficult to traverse. You know, no, no longer can you just you know go running around willy nilly, bouncing about <laughs> without a care in the world. Yes, I should be gathering that on the way back, not on the way out, but, uh, it's here. Oh. Ah! Oh, I just realized I'm doing this and I don't have any, uh, any sticks. 
Alright. Oh well. Into the portal we go. Because oh. this is not going to be a safe place to be anymore. I mean, he says as he goes into the nether. <laughs> and yes, I, I put down a floor of buttons because I was getting ready to leave and... Uh, I saw a couple guys milling about here that kind of defeated the purpose of having this as a shelter. So, uh... Alright. I need basalt. And I need glowstones. And I need people to not run up behind me <laughs> while I dig out this staircase. Yeah, I probably I probably should have set a spawn before I left. That uh, that is fair. Huh? I saw a chest at the portal, but I there was no bed over there. Really trying to find my way to the top of this. Oh. Huh? And what the hell is sounding like, uh, like a a rad meter from Fallout? Is is that? <laughs> I mean, look, I get it's the Nether. No, no, I wasn't. I have the footage, too. Literally. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, and I fortuned all that quartz, too. I forget which podcast I was listening to that was joking about it, but, uh... Or maybe it was, maybe it was last week's stream? Yeah, it was... Looking at some of the possible uh, IP crossovers from the Microsoft Blizzard Activision merger. I mean, as pending regulatory approval, TM. Um, but that that does that does raise some very interesting questions. Like who? What what kind of crossover could we see? That, that would be worthwhile. I, I will say, I will say that uh, Phil Spencer, the head of Microsoft Gaming, has already done a little fireside chat type deal where he outlined one of his goals is to take some of the retired intellectual property that... Blizzard and Activision were just kind of sitting on doing nothing with and start bringing them out. In particular, a lot of the games that Raven Software did. And, you know, of course, I'm listening to the podcast and I'm, I'm doing like my best Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, stroking my beard, Sir Alec Guinness style. Raven Software. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a very long time. <laughs> And so I I do I do find that I I, I hope that is some that's something that they do is uh, take this as an opportunity to resurrect some old games and stuff that have just been kind of sitting in a closet. One of Microsoft's big things, and one and one of the big things that does work for them is having a huge back catalog of games and trying to keep older games moving forward like that as that definitely seems to be one of their goals with xbox cloud gaming is uh is keeping keeping some of the classic games moving and moving forward uh they they've certainly tried to do that with their own ip you know, they, they did the Halo remastered and started bringing back all the Halos. They brought PC releases to Halo games that had originally only had a console release. 
And, and so there's um, there's a lot of good to be had there. Not a lot of good to be had down here. Because I now hear some ghasts. But we'll at least have a, uh, a decent uh, stairwell up to the top of the basalt delta where it'd be a little bit easier to, to gather basalt because I know that both Medic and I are uh, in, in deep need of basalt. Like, pretty soon here I'm about to turn around and just start digging away at the wall. I really just wanted to find my way to the top of the delta. I wasn't expecting to just keep digging. Probably should have brought more uh, materials for picks now that I think about it. Because I only brought the two picks. I've got some cobblestone with me. Yeah, well, no, there there is a top. And I do, I do want to find a good spot to get onto the nether roof. Um, from what it sounds like... There might be some changes coming down the pike in either 1.18.2 or 1.19 where Piglin XP farms are going to get a little bit of a nerf. And I feel kind of like... On the one hand, I, I kind of get it, but on the other hand, I don't. Like, seriously, let, let, just let us have the, let us do the farms. It's not, it's not killing the game to do the farms like that. Yes, there are people that don't like it, and that's, that's certainly their prerogative, but, uh, just let the people have the farms. Oh, that's not the top. That is all merely adjacent to the top. Uh, well, let's fill that in. And I'm also going to need a lot of magma cubes before too long, too. Because the elite, I'm planning on doing the same piglin farm design as what we did in season one. That worked out really good, and by the sound of it, it should not be impacted by the impending nerf. Um, the The idea is basically they're going to mess with how the the piglin aggro works, and which will affect how XP works. Uh, details are a little sketchy on exactly what changes are going to happen and how they're going to work. So obviously I'm being a little a little sketch on that because I, I don't know myself either. It doesn't sound like they know. Um, all right, I hear you, Magma Cube. I really do. And I'd rather hear you further away if you catch my drift. This means observers and comparators. <laughs> Huge hopper farms. No. No.
Let's uh, be careful. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Probably should also be leaving like a, a scumpus or something to uh, remind me how to find my way home. Since I am apparently uh, getting lost very easily today. More easily than normal. Do I want to go back for that, or do I want to see what's over this way? I want to see what's over this way. It looks like we're hitting the end of the basalt. And... Oh! Huh. Is that the same one, or a different one? Probably the same one. Hi, friends. I'm going to go back the way I came and just grab more basalt since that's uh, that was one of the resources I wanted out of here. Yep. I also wanted uh, shroom lights. I, I need to find a four. I need to not hit the wrong key on the keyboard. I need to find a forest and see if I can get some shroom lights out of, uh, out of the trees. I wouldn't mind getting some of the mushrooms. I don't have silk touch to grab the nylium yet so uh, not gonna be able to do too much farming of that just yet I I also didn't yeah oh jeez I dude I came this close to murdering you none of us would have liked that I swear you walk in front of my pick we're going to have words. <clears throat> All right. Let's, uh... Yeah, I wanted a lot. I wanted some blackstone, too. But I did not come prepared. Not come properly prepared at all because there's my pick about to break and I still have those two I still got the two cobblestone down at the bottom that I need to break all right it's got 42 durability left let's go ahead and head back that way and see if we can find <laughs> yeah Let's see if we can find... Because I thought I saw a crimson forest off in the distance when I was last this way. There we go. That's a little better. Eventually I'll come back and replace that with actual stairs. And maybe put a gate at the bottom. So, yeah, that's probably the same one that I saw earlier. Alright. That is a giant delta. Alright, okay, so there is a crimson forest up that away. Or, sorry, a warped forest up around that way. And I thought I saw a crimson somewhere too. So I just need to I just need to to somehow make my way that aways. Alright, um. yeah, right, I got a little bit of assault. Okay. Oh, before I forget, I did fix the uh, death message, so you should get um, the notification that you're supposed to get before of where where your stuff is. So it should give you the coordinates like it was supposed to do all along. I almost want to try to grab some of that. I want to say it was somewhere around... Here that I saw the crimson? No. I saw a bunch of those guys.
Oh, okay, good. So it is working. I know, I know that there are some problems with the book. Um, it is one of those things that the the data pack developer mentioned, and it has to do with. Well, that didn't sound good. Where? I heard something burning in lava. Oh, there's the lava. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just do that right there, shall we? Um, yeah, he mentioned that because of some of the changes in the way Mo Yang did some of the stuff related to giving people items. Um, let's not fall in that hole, shall we? Oh wait, that's right. Once I get to the uh, the crimson forest, I can uh, I can get lumber to uh, to make more picks and stuff. Okay, lumber problem solved. Oh, oh no, no. No, 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 no. Let's, uh, let's try to not run into lava on this trip. Oh, 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 oh. The floor is lava. The floor is la literally lava. trying to not tower up and over stuff like that, but, uh... Oh, for crying out loud! Where is the forest I saw a minute ago? Uh, that does bring some interesting concerns now, doesn't it? There it is. Here I am. And my pick is just about busted. Down, not up. And my pick is precisely busted. Alright, let's uh, see what we can do. Get out of the way! Ah!
Come on! That could have gone worse. I hope they're not mad at me about something. Yeah, it could have gone better too. Don't don't hear what I'm saying. Oh, well, I don't want to hear it from you. Oh, come on. Yeah, it, it really looked like one of the, the big guys was staring me down. I don't know what for, though. I'm wearing gold. It hasn't broken yet. You okay over there? Oh, <laughs> not, you know what I'm not doing? I am not digging up gold. All right. There's the forest I'm looking for. All right. Let's, uh, I guess there is no good place. Let's, uh. Sorry, I just figured that that was the worst time for a gas to spawn, so surely Moten must have been ready to spawn. <laughs> Come here, protein. Hi, friend. Nope, I will not touch your gold. No worries about that here. All right. Well, that got me part of what I was looking for. Let's uh, grab one of these guys. That, that'll actually come in handy for a couple of reasons. Uh, let's start getting some lumber. And shroomlets. And I believe it was a hoe for those guys. Normally, I would want to tear all those down because they compost very nicely, but um, I don't. I don't feel like clogging my inventory with uh, with that just yet. I want to keep the fungus on the hot bar because if I run into any of the big pigs, they run away when you hold a warp fungus in your hand. Uh, 
Actually, right now it's 50-50 as to whether it's better for me to have the shield or the warp fungus in my offhand. You know what? If it's 50-50, it's probably a really good idea for me to have that in my offhand. Let's see if we can stop that lava flow before we uh, start digging in the trees. Or maybe I just need to go ahead and... Kingdom for a shulker box. Alright, let's uh, get us a crafting bench. Oh! Oh, sadness. That that was a uh, that was a mod that wasn't actually a part of the a part of the game yet. I thought you could start using blackstone for crafting cobble tools, but it's only for furnaces and certain recipes. It is a data pack that adds in some of the missing stuff. So, bother. Uh... Oh, no, okay, okay, so you can, all right, good. I can use the black stone as a cobble for stuff like that, and oh, my inventory. I'm going to have to start figuring out what I want to leave behind. And no, I'm not going to just leave it all sitting out in the middle of the world for to despawn. Let's, uh, alright, let's get rid of the leather, let's get rid of the zombie flesh, let's get rid of the warped roots and the crimson roots, we can come back for those later, uh, let's get rid of the chicken, and that'll be good for now. Now let's go pick up our, uh, table. Actually, let's go ahead and make another stone pick. Then we'll pick up the table and go. I'll take you with me, though. No shroom light. No shroom light. Next tree over. You know, it'd be really nice. Some boots of feather falling. All that for four lights. I was kind of hoping you could plant a sweet berry in the nether. That that would just seem kind of appropriate somehow. Yeah, no, it's always the last step that gets you. of the glowstones here. Might as well, right? Ah. 
actually. Why waste my pick? Well, it's not fortune, so I'm going to get as much either way, whether breaking it with a picker by hand. too far. Oh. Uh. Wait, no, no, no. Leave, leave my glowstone alone, please. No, I, I don't want your help. Thank you, though. I would deeply appreciate the Enderman looking somewhere else. Shroom lights, and I've got all right, that freed up a little bit of space too. And I got 35 um, glowstone. If I remember right, there is also a cleric at the village, which means I could always trade for some more glowstone. So I, I, no, 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 not looking at you. Not, I'm not looking at you. No, no, no. So I could always go and uh, trade with the the cleric villager for some more glowstone. But I wonder, I wonder which is going to look better in that spot. Trying not to take too many, too many of the warp blocks. I just want enough to have some building blocks on me, and also to toss in the composter, or even the composter. All right. Um, I mean, I brought the bone meal over here so I could take some of this with me too, or so I could try to grow some more, uh, some more of these guys. happened here I will take all the lumber I can get that's for sure yeah because I'm gonna need I'm probably gonna need more than 12 I also need to make sure that I go get more basalt now that I got a, a proper pick for it. There you are. I knew there was more in here. I do want another stack of lumber. That was one of my issues, was I didn't bring any, any wood for sticks and stuff. And this very neatly solves that problem. Together with the black stone, I can keep making picks. And start working towards uh, my goal of having more Basalt and Blackstone. I can't 
believe that they're already talking about uh, plans for 1.19. Something about the wild. The wild update or something along those lines. Alright, I got a quarter stack of shroom lights. Let me. And. Getting close on that. Uh, That's a nice chunk. Uh, hello? You're not mad at me, are you? Are you a warden of the wood? Before I go, oh, well, that's right. Um, cheap boots. Uh, I keep thinking that fall is going to be not as bad as it ends up being because we are still early. Ooh. I do want some of those vines, but I don't want to have to go down there and get them. I'm already a little. A little bit lost. All right, that uh, that lava bit is my uh, my main marker. I got another inventory space now. Hmm. Yep. Let me uh let me start making my way back. I know 30 is not going to be enough, but it's going to be a start and I will probably come across more like that on my way back. field that I came around. Lucky as ever. All right. At least we know where the forest is and uh, and how to get back there. idea how much I wish I had some gold to trade with you. Hmm. Since I get another pick again, I can go ahead and collect some more of the quartz.
dude. I would be just as happy if you uh, went about your business somewhere else. is helping with uh, getting the XP too. Alright, we're kind of at that place where I really should switch back to a proper shield. And I ain't fussing with you. I might be fussing with you anyway. Uh, I can't help but shake this feeling that I did pillar up somewhere that I didn't... I didn't intend to. Maybe that was over in the Basalt Delta, and I'll be able to work a uh, stairway down. Oh, okay. I'm glad. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not take that step there. All right, good. This means we're getting closer. Come on. Let's do this, little guy. Let's uh, fill in all the pools of... S okay, I, I could have gone all session without that. Let's fill in all the pools of... Ah! All the pools of sadness with uh, <laughs> with something, anything. I still swear it sounds like something out of Fallout. Ow! Oh. Ah, crikey! Stupid magma box. Uh, all right, there's 32 of them. All right, let's uh. Grab a little more of this, shall we? Yeah, the black stone that I wanted. I think I will do something with the walls with the black stone. I just, I'm not sure what. I don't know if I'll do entire blackstone or if I'll do a mixture of regular bricks and blackstone bricks. That might work. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Somebody find me some gold to trade with one of those guys for a potion of uh, fire resistance. Alright, where am I at? 
There you go. Oh, I wouldn't have had any more room for uh, for basalt anyway. No, oh, I have more room for basalt now. So let me try to get a little more of the blackstone. Although I'm probably about to use some of that to make uh, a couple more tools to keep things going in the nether. I might also drop off the nether rack. Once that stack's done, I'll have all my my stunted inventory can take. That's a nasty drop. I mean, except for those guys, right? Um. Oh yeah, that's right. That is where I uh, pillared up, isn't it? is the way I came, but uh, I'll stake out a clearer path later when I've got resources to spare. Hello, friend. Why, yes, I could use more magma cream. Why do you ask? I almost wish you could break down... Ow! I almost wish you could break down... Uh, magma cubes back into nether cream. Because I know you can use nether cream to make magma cubes. And, and maybe, maybe you just don't get as efficient a return. Although that doesn't generally make sense compared to some of the other stuff anyway. But this is Minecraft. You, you have trees floating in midair. Who said sense applied to any of this at all? Alright, uh... It's 6 a.m. Do you know where your world is? I think I'm going to give... Give it a minute in the over... Oh, that's where some of my inventory space went for the last three little bits of nether quartz. I think I'm going to wait for morning to arrive a little more fully. I don't think I saw any other quartz up there. Didn't see any quartz in the wall here. I'll grab some more blackstone while I wait. I wanted to get firmly in the 8, 9 o'clock or so before I step back through into the overworld. I need, ooh, yeah, no, I, what I need to find is I need to find a soul sand valley 
Because if I could get some soul soil. Sorry, I was checking about the gold, but uh, you know what? I'm having a pretty good game right now. Let's uh, let's not invite disaster by angering all the piglet pigmen in the area. That that seems like the the better part of valor. Because uh, if I get some soul sand, then then I could get a basalt generator, and I wouldn't have to worry as much about hunting down hunting down, you know, different different stuff. There is a bed. Huh. And there's stuff in here too. All I remember putting in here was the flint and steel. And the raw salmon. Alright, I'll leave the nether rack there for building blocks for somebody later. Um, oh, I should have taken some of that gold in with me. Then I could have done some trading. Um, magma cream. Is magma cream the strength potion or the fire resistance potion? I think it's the fire resistance potion. Seriously, we, we need to we need to actually like make a path. That might be one of our next uh, bigger community projects is making it make an actual pathway from the gate to to the mountain, or just building another gate in the mountain. Well, I'm still I'm still gonna spend some time over the weekend hunting those blaze rods, and uh, one of us was going after blaze rods, the other was going after eyes of ender. So that way we could uh, get to the end and get that get that shulker thing happening along with Elytra. Because I, I would feel a lot better about this trek if I could just take, you know, a rocket or so over the over the mountain. I mean, we we got iron gear. We we can totally take on the dragon, right? All right, maybe I maybe I want some slightly enchanted iron gear. I mean, look, Impulse and Skizzleman did it uh, with what leather pants and a couple of bows. I still got to get that thing that highlights the uh, the powdered snow a little bit better. Yeah. Definitely need to get the basalt thing going. I wouldn't mind getting uh, where would all right. So if I build no, I already figured out where I'd build it. I just need to look up. Uh, I need to. I just don't know how blast chambers work. I mean, I know the general theory of them. But I don't know the particulars of how blast chambers work. Hi, hi, buddy. Let's uh. I mean. Most of that I'm taking with me because that's why I grabbed it. I might I might do something with copper in the walls now that I think about it too, because that that is one of the that's one of the reasons why I got all that copper in the first place. Um, grab a. Oh, jeez, I forgot that was the farm. I was like, oh no, there's spiders in the community center. Of course there's spiders in the community center. Don't look at me like that. Alright, I'll leave those there. Why did 
did I make that second one? I was going to put something in that second one, but I don't remember what now. Nope. Still not remembering. Uh, I'll put my extra shield in there. Oh, because that's where the, the crimson ones are going to go. some more food. Uh, ooh, I was thinking about building a chicken cooker again. I haven't done that in a long while. I think the last time I built a, an industrial chicken cooker was season zero. Yeah, probably season zero. Because honestly, w once you get once you get villagers trading for golden carrots, or you get a uh, a decent uh, piglin farm going, or pig, f yeah. Piglin. The the big honking chonky pigs in uh in the nether. You you know the ones I'm talking about, the ones you definitely don't want to meet accidentally. Uh those guys. I did a farm for those guys and ended up eating pork chops all the time, which does sound kinda nice. Can I put the basalt in there? No, I can't put the basalt in there. All right, let me get a stack of those guys going. That way I can at least get some smooth basalt working. Um, let's grab the copper. Let's see, what, what can I do with blocks of copper? I get the cut copper. Uh, ooh. wonder if I did that for the walls. That's a thought. And I wonder what I could mix in with the copper, too. Like, maybe the oxidized copper and some warped wood? Maybe? I'll have to think on that. Uh... Storage is a going concern. Alright, I know I'm going to need a fair chunk of that. I still haven't figured out just what I'm doing with all the black stone. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the bone meal I didn't use. The shears I didn't use. Don't need the shovel right now. Let's clear out some of this stuff. Uh, thought I had some other magma cream in here. I do now. Right, I can put the coal away. I'll keep that on me for now. Um. Take the glowstone dust there. And I thought I had... No, all the magma cubes that I grabbed uh, did not survive the trip back. All right. So let's do this first and foremost. Which is going to look better as the centerpiece for that tile? A shroom light, which I'm leaning towards because it has the same kind of suggestive texture. Or a glowstone. Though I don't know. The glowstone might work in there. I'm tempted to go with the glowstone just because I know that'll be a little bit easier to acquire too. Although once I get Silk Touch going on one of the picks, um, I can get the Nylium and then uh, and then go from there. You really think the shroom? I 
I just worry about the 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 more orangey nature of it. All right. Well, either way, that's definitely not working like that. Uh, I want a I want a bigger repeat on the tiles. Uh, sea lanterns could work once those are once those are an option. <laughs> I mean, don't hear it. I'm not saying. I I, I definitely I definitely want to uh, work towards that end. What you're not building into the mountain because of lighting? Come on. You wouldn't have let it let it either way. I mean, I'm also tempted to. Uh... Oh, okay. So you're waiting until we get to the the later stage, and we've got the full spectrum of blocks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Um. Yeah, I think I like I think I like that design. I like that design. And I think I know what I want to do here, except for I don't know what door I want to put in there. Um What I want to do is put that away before I forget. Uh, there's not enough room to put any of that away. Because storage has not happened yet this year. Um, alright. That's got one more bucket. Let's keep that going. Although, I need to move this, because I, I know that I want a 3x3 three three redstone door of some sort. And I want a grand staircase down, and this is going to be where the staircase ends. So it's only going to be like one, two, three, three to four deep. And then it's going to open up into this room with a grand stairway leading up to a second floor on either side. And then this will be the main hall. It'll be decorative and off the main hall in each of the three directions as well as the second floor. And then further down into the ground will be where I put various rooms and things. Hey, accident. Yeah, yeah, planning. How does it work? <laughs> I don't know. That that much is sure. <laughs> I I know that that is the floor design that I want to do. I want to take that and tile it from corner to corner. So I I need to dig this down another four blocks. Um, I yeah, I, you know what? I'll just leave. I'm just leaving all my stuff floating there. Uh, I guess no. I need to. I need to figure out which redstone door I'm going to put in there first, because that is going to determine how much space I need coming in. Whether it's just going to be enough to have two or three blocks. Should probably do that sleeping thing in real life too. That's part of why I left work early today. I was not feeling well, and, uh... Yeah. I, I, the last couple of nights, I've had all of, like, two hours... Uh, like, five hours sleep, not in a row. Alright, so that's gonna go for the next little while. Those guys will get started. I need to, I need to get some more copper smelting. Uh, because I think... I think I am going to try to work copper into the design somehow. I, I, 
I'm really thinking oxidized copper and warped stems of some sort. Yeah. Alright, let's put that in there. Matter of fact, since this is going to be one of the main build pallets, let's grab our blackstone and basalt out of here. Um, oh, they're tufted. So I know I'm going to need those before too long. Let's get that up in there. Let's get that in there. Let's get that in there. We got the warp stem. We're going to get some more copper. I might, I might take this opportunity to grab some of the stuff out of storage too. Uh, 19 levels. I, mm. I could spend some time at the spider farm and try to get up the, the last few levels. Actually, I might, I might take this as an opportunity to clear out the space for the skelly farm. I, I know the general design. Uh, it's one that I, that I want to use. It's one that I used back in season zero. And I want to dig that up. And I think what I'm going to do... I guess we're at the point where we need to start uh, clearing out all the... Uh, all the spider eyes. Because uh. I think I also want to use the string for wool. Because... Um, we don't have a wool farm yet. That would be nice to have. And... I need I need a block that is I need a block to encase the skeleton farm in uh, that won't be mistaken for anything other than an intentionally placed block and, and we're not quite I don't think we're quite ready to flex um, I do have more wool all right I don't think we're quite ready to flex enough to uh, to to make a, a a box out of iron blocks. Although now that I say that, let's see how Medic's Iron Farm is doing. I think it's too far away from here to be loaded when anybody's in the community area. Okay, good. Waterfall's gone. <coughs> Ow. Although I think that washed away the powdered snow. Is that what I got to do? Does water just melt the powdered snow or does it melt all the snow? Uh, I'm having a, a short-term memory moment. Actually, I've been having a short-term memory day, but that yeah, we won't go there. Because if water will take out the powdered snow and leave the regular snow, I might I might just use that in the grand clearing of uh, powdered snow out of the caldera and just start washing water down the mountain until uh, until that gets resolved. Although if it takes out the regular snow, we got the snow we got the snow farm that Arcadius put together already, and uh, that'll definitely definitely work. It's a uh, it's a less complicated one than the one I would try to build, and it probably works about the same. Although, I think he did say something about the the snowman not always uh, not always being on the job, and I'm wondering if uh, the block placement on the farm that I had tried to build would help that. On the other hand, we could always just have a second farm, too. No harm in that. Man, these sweet berries don't last long. 
And since XNM's here, I'll reiterate my comment from way earlier in the stream. You should totally be able to throw sweet berries on onto an enchanter and make good berries that provide regen or healing or something. Or make it a random table, you know? Uh, <laughs> just just like your just like your sword and shield and whatever other enchantments are random. Uh, just uh you know, you throw some berries on there, you, you, you run the enchant, and what you get is what you get. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what we got. All right, the zombie is still there. The village people are still there. I don't hear the sounds of iron golems dying, though. It does not appear to be working. I do not have any spare blocks on me at the moment. I wonder why it's not working. Because he's got the villagers there. They're by the zombie. That's not much wider than the spawning platform that I had in the Skyblock farm. Well, that's a weird slot right there, too. Huh. Alright, well, either way, that, that brings us back to we're definitely not uh, surrounding the uh, Skelly farm in, uh, in Iron Blocks, because... Uh, the iron farm, she ain't working. It still kills me that Ray has put together this raw copper floor. I mean, I kind of like it. Well, I don't know. We seem to have gotten a fair amount of iron from uh, from just mining and copper. Although we got a bunch of copper back at the the main. Why did I even come here? Oh, I came here looking for something that would not easily. Oh yeah, fortune will do that. Um, something that would not be easily mistaken for that's not a lot of that. Okay, maybe that's my next step. Um, Go back down to the mines, get a bunch of fancy stone. Yeah, there, there's not enough in there. Because I, I want to, I want like I did with the spider farm, I want to put a, put a clear surrounding wall of, uh, <laughs> if you see this, it was clearly put here with intent. You know, so it's not mistaken for anything that could have generated in the world. And, uh, I know, I know where there's a huge vein of um, fancy stones over this away. So I'll go pick up a whole bunch of a whole bunch of. Um, I should not have left this uh, this close to dark. A whole bunch of regret, apparently. Uh, no. A whole bunch uh, of... What was it that I saw there? Oh, um... Granite. Crikey. My brain. Oh, 
this is about to be bad again, isn't it? This is what happened last time. I figured, ah, uh, I can make it up the mountain before uh, it gets too dangerous this late at night. Right? Right? Uh, not lost, we just, we, we don't really have clear paths. And, or easy to traverse paths. Like, there's no, there's no stepping stones or walking stones or... Um, that might be a, a project in the near future. I just need to get to my side of the mountain. Oh, there's a book I haven't thought about in ages. Or maybe I'll just hide in the powdered snow. I got my leather boots on. I don't mind hearing the creepers die as they uh, pathfind over to me in the powdered snow. Yeah. I mean... I... I Half the fun is trying to figure out how to build it and figuring out what you're going to build it with. Uh, I I hate that I'm burning through my, my hunger trying to get home, you know, bouncing up and down the icy mountain. But, uh, oh yeah, that's right, that's where I was going, trees. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Not today, sunshine. <laughs> oh, that's right. You got a helmet. I, I don't want you getting in the uh, boat with the fox. You couldn't have given me the armor? You couldn't have donated the armor to the uh, Keeping On Junior Alive? No, you're still eating the sweet berries I gave you the last time. Oh, duck on it. Wrong button. Alright. Let me grab... that away. I'll get an automated one set up before too long. Yeah, pathfinding, it, early game pathfinding is frustrating to say the least. Alright, I'm going to be digging, so let me just grab a bunch of that. And a bunch of that, and I got my crafting table, and oh, oh yeah, that's right, I'm about to be in the ground, so I'm going to need torches. Alright, there was a giant granite vein in, uh, oh, hello. Medic's little area this way. Alright. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe I could do that. Maybe I could just uh go go sea pickles and uh <laughs> water water log everything. Was it here? No, that was back of the village, wasn't it? Maybe it wasn't over here. Shoot. Where did I see that giant vein of granite? No, that's right. That was the... Okay, nope. He was in that cave that uh, Medic and Arcadius had me go down earlier. Tuesday. I think that was back at the village I just left. Because of course it is. Ah, I'm here. Let's see if I can find one. 
surely there, surely there's a, uh, there's a big vein of something to be had around here, right? Right? I keep forgetting to, uh, I forgot to grab shears again. So I can gather more of the glow lichen. I, I do, I do liken it a lot. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Alright, let's, uh... Make our way up. And try not to get lost. Alright, there that is. Maybe this was where it was earlier. No. Because I know I definitely uh, cleared out a little bit more of it. Alright, let's... Uh, let's try to keep stuff from falling on our head, shall we? I know I don't need to put that many torches down. Not like I used to, but old habits die hard. And I'd rather have more torches than I need than less. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh. This could be an interesting valley. I'll make that uh, another misadventure. Yeah, that'll definitely be a different misadventure. That's not today's. And I did not find out what it was, but there's supposed to be some trick where if you find lapis, you can figure out where the diamonds are based on orientation of this, that, and the other. Uh, I heard somebody talking about it. They, they mentioned that it was a thing, but did not say how you go about it, which was kind of frustrating. Like, uh, yeah, tell me. Please. I would like to know. How, how can I guarantee that if I find Lapis, I can go find the diamonds that generate nearby? But there's something about the world generation algorithm that reliably puts diamonds at a certain direction and number of blocks away from Lapis Ore. I mean, it could be the other way around, too. But either way, if you find one, you know where to find the other. I mean, I guess... Technically, you could try to backtrack the lapis, too. Do I want both of those? Maybe. I know I want the copper, though. There's enough of it. I might as well build with it. But do I want the andesite? I think I do. Because I might use that with some of the, the boundary, like, to help me figure out lines and things. Yeah, I wish I had my fortune pick. Lost. Lost. It, digging up like that's probably not my smartest move. either. I 
I really should go back to that giant Ooh, iron. I still need to watch that Pixel Riffs video too, because Pixel Riffs did a uh, a video where he tried to see if iron farms were at a point where you still needed needed them like uh like you used to because now that iron has an actual drop that you can fortune are you going to get more iron from an iron farm or from just loading up a uh, high level fortune enchant on your pickaxe and uh, having at it that way personally uh i'm still <laughs> I'm still more of a fan of the uh, the iron farm because fortuning out the iron means you will eventually run out of local resources and you'll have to go further and further away from your central base of operations to get iron. And it means you have to spend time doing stuff like this. And, you know, I, I work for a living. I... I can't spend all day just running around in the dark, making little pokey holes going, uh, is there an iron vein here? Is there an iron vein there? Who's a good little iron vein? Uh, you know, and trying to figure out where everything is. On the other hand, I do like that, uh, it's not... I think with uh, Fortune, it is at least at the point where people who don't want to do an iron farm don't have to, to get the amount of iron that they want. You know, you can get a passable amount of iron without having to go build a farm. So it's no longer a necessary thing, it's a playstyle thing. You know, I build the iron farm because I want to, not because it's the only way to get the quantities of iron that make life possible on, on the server with the uh, redstone contraptions and storage and hoppers, oh my. If that makes sense. I don't even know how much of this I'm going to need. Yes. Uh, yeah. And, and that is and that is a big part of it. I, I like that you can actually go on a mining session with maybe a pair of iron picks and you will find enough coal and iron to continue your session further in without resorting to stone tools like what I'm using right now. Um, which I'm using because that's what I had on me since I wandered into the nether with insufficient tooling. So again, so again, I do, I do like the changes, um, and I, I like the way it's changed. I guess I should start keeping a furnace on me, yeah. Huh? All right, let's. Uh, so I'm gonna make two iron picks. I'll get the coal. Matter of fact, I'll drop that down there. It doesn't take up as much space. So that doesn't take as much space. Um I I don't know that I've ever worried about having too much. But that that is also that is also partly me as well. I I will fully fully admit that um, I I am perfectly capable of uh, collecting to an inappropriate degree more and more blocks and more blocks and then some more blocks.
All right. Uh, let's. I'm not sure how much each of these I'm gonna need. Yeah, I'll I'll grab the granite on the way out. Let me focus on the andesite that's here, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Because on the other hand, uh, even even if like, well, you saw how many iron blocks I had stashed away for a rainy day on Skyblock, and, and that's no different than the way I am when we get on vanilla and do that. Uh, I definitely have no problems keeping a keeping a stash, and I mean, if it reaches the point where I've got that many, I have no problem using them as a building block for decoration or just for building. You know, you, you saw towards the end of Skyblock, and even if you dig back a little bit further, uh, I will happily, once we reach a certain level of iron, start just building rooms or whatever out of iron. Uh, and in this case, probably copper and copper ore. And yeah, now that the uh, the dripstone stuff allows you to have infinite lava for a change, I don't mind. I don't mind doing the smelting jobs. Uh, returning back to the the previous refrain of old habits die hard. Uh, I I definitely keep forgetting that I'm not wasting lava by not doing a max run on a. Uh, Uh, of whatever whatever I'm smelting up. To me, these veins seem bigger than they used to be. I'm not complaining. Don't, please don't, don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm also, I think I, I've wandered down this, this mental path before on stream even. Uh, I'm trying to remember, if, I seem to remember the fancy stones being added when, when we were still in the early stages of playing Minecraft. I can't remember just how far back we played, and if that included when the fancy stones got added. Alright, that's four stacks of andesite. Uh, let's go ahead and grab, start grabbing that granite now. I, I mean the andesite, granite, and diorite. Uh, no, I don't go far, <laughs> far back enough to remember what bricks were added. Uh, Minecraft had been out for a while when I, when I started playing, and Rayest and Arcadius were playing before that. They're the ones that got me started playing Minecraft. Now they're trying to get me to play seven seven ways to die in a I tried it, but it's not not quite my bag. On the other hand, that's what I said about Minecraft. So, you know. Alright, I thought there was more than that. Focus on the on the granite, but I think I will continue to gather more andesite. Oh, hello, friend! Oh, I didn't bring a shovel. Well, 
Well, okay then. Is that how that's going to be? I also need to be careful because I haven't... Uh, I've been so focused on the fancy stones that I haven't picked up any more iron. So I think once the second pick is gone, I'll stop uh, digging these guys up. Or I get another... Uh, Or finish off getting four stacks of granite. Although I'm trying to remember how much, how many blocks I went through building the chamber for the spider farm, because that's going to be about the same size as the what I'm going to need for the skelly farm. Except I'm also going to need more because I need I need more space for. Hello, Lapis. I'm going to need more space to bring the skeletons up and then drop them to their sudden but inevitable demise. So they can curse my sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Too soon? Full of old references today. Because I made some reference to two turntables and a microphone. And uh, I'm, now I'm trying to remember when that came out. I want to say that was late... Late 80s? Early 90s? Or as Rayest has taken to reminding me now, that was the late 1900s. going to keep collecting granite and andesite until uh until this pick breaks and then I'm let I'm out of here probably not too much longer though all right so I got at least four stacks of both Seriously, uh, Arcadius, if, if you can, two turntables and a microphone. When did that come out? If you got something handy to look it up. That, that, that's that been bothering me all day. Hm. Never mind. Maybe I found enough iron to keep going. if I had some fortune, though. Was that back? Yeah, okay. Okay, yep, that was back. 97? Is it really that late? For some reason, I keep thinking of it being older than that. Hush. Uh, <laughs> maybe I don't want to hear about it. I mean, we could always do Van Halen's here about it later, but, uh... I don't know. Maybe that's all just running a little too close together for my own comfort. Still touring? 
No, he can't be. Can he? Because I want to say... Yeah, well, I mean... Okay. Really? I mean... He, he's not exactly a, a spring chicken. Although, then again, Judas Priest is still touring, too, and they've been going at it since uh, 78, 79. Somewhere around there. Uh, one of the guitarists for Judas Priest had, <laughs> had a ruptured uh, heart. Uh, had, a, had a... Basically had an aneurysm rupture in the middle of a show. And he finished the show and then rushed out to the hospital. Because, of course, isn't that what you would do? All right, I got a couple more picks to work with. Uh, well, that is the other question now, isn't it? Could keep making torches or or I could just use the flint and steel to light fires everywhere. <laughs> That's just a sure way to get uh to get what you need, right? To get the lighting. Just gotta kinda watch your step. Unlike the torches, you can't hurt yourself on the fire. Because we have fire tick turned off, so the fire would continue to burn. Maybe I should make a ring of fire. Wait, no. Now, now we're getting into. Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, of course, with ring of fire, we're getting into we're getting into um, Johnny Cash territory, and I'm pretty sure that's. Definitely 70s territory right there. Late 70s. Of course, that uh, that Fifth Element reference isn't exactly uh, <laughs> a recent thing either. Oh, who was it? I, I think it was Mike Manzik uh, on Twitter was talking about... Uh, Oh yeah, it is a good movie. He was talking, he was making some some reference about being old or something, and I said yes, because I'm pretty sure we both remember when a 28.8 modem was hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, there 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 are one or two scenes that I will definitely grant you might not be best for a. Uh, a 10 year old but that is a fun fun movie just uh be prepared to to answer some questions or not as the case may be Clearly, somebody's been through to light stuff up. I really should go through and light up, and I should probably grab that iron while I'm here. I think that's iron up in the sea. Oh, <laughs> I just realized this, there's more light on my screen than there is on the stream. So, you know what? Let's, um... Let's get while the getting's good. Uh, I, got, I got a fair chunk of what I want. I don't want to push my luck because uh, that's that's usually where bad things happen. Like you start making your way back through the mountain, and uh, and a skeleton with a flaming bow pops out of nowhere and kills you in the snow, and uh, you lose all your stuff. Mm, but that's tempting, and that's te nope, 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 nope. Take, take what you, take what you got and go. T 
take what you got and go. Oh, okay. That's the same valley right there. All right. All right. All right. Let's see if we can... Uh, find our way back up. Oh, there we go. I swear for oh I swear for a second there I really thought medic had uh, put a lava thing above the water column and and I was gonna have words to say I guess I need to make a, a community trash bin or something. All right, let's get more copper in there. this hot mess. There we go. That'll get that going. Let's get the lumber put away. Let's get the torches put away. Let's get the cobble put away. gravel than I realized. Mm. My one deep sleep. I, I don't ask me. I, I couldn't tell you why. Um, twenty levels. Still not quite enough, but uh, let's see. Twenty-one. Ah. Let's grab the stone so that can get put away. Oh. Bye. Grab our smooth stone. Drop that there for now. Lose my ever loving mind. I guess I did get more andesite than I realized. Maybe I'll flip that around and use the andesite as the main block and the granite as the as the border block. Alright, uh what else am I gonna need? All right, the smooth basalt is for that project. As is the polished. Because that's going to be for the flooring. Well, I guess if I got these spaced out like I do, I won't need as many of them. I knew I had a 
another spot for the lapis. Let's block that up for now. Save some space. That's going to keep going. Because um, I think that, yeah, that's, that's all the stone I'm going to need for the moment. That's all going up into smooth stone. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I think since mostly it's going to be waiting for that to cook up and I need to go back and revisit um, the video that showed how to uh, how to make the uh, the skeleton farm that I'm planning on building because it's been a while I might go ahead and call it a night here so uh, let me hit the hit the credits and say thank you for joining along I hope you had fun Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is definitely Coffee Craft. Friday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is up in the air for right now. Eventually, that will get back to Games Revisited. Um, and all this gets uploaded back up to YouTube later. I should have that guitar build compilation video put together within the next couple of weeks. That's going to be that's gonna be a project. I got a lot of footage to sort through on that. Um... <laughs> But that'll go up, and I hope to do some more of that kind of stuff from time to time as well, and maybe some other uh, some other woodworking type projects. Uh, I, I definitely want to keep uh, keep this a variety channel. That's for sure. Um, so thank you, thank you. Let's go see who's available for a raid. And it looks like Beast Lord is playing Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. All right, I, I gotta tell you, I've been watching enough uh, Beast Lord playing Monster Hunter that I am somewhat tempted to give it a try. It just doesn't... I don't know. I like watching it. I, I don't know if it's going to be my kind of game to play, but let's go watch. Let's go watch Beast Lord play. And if you haven't, do give him a uh, give him a follow when we get over there too. Good people. He's got a lot of entertaining streams. So. Uh, let me uh, let me hit the raid button and we'll follow right along. See you next time. Stay for the raid. <laughs>